Welcome to another Alive Friday where we get to answer all of your questions. And there's been a ton of questions in the group this week or the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so many that it's really hard to um, to pick which ones we're going to answer. Mm. <laughs> second question, we've chosen two this week. Uh, the second question is from Bodine Bethany. How do you know if a query is legitimate? I'm just wondering about some questions to ask to raise flags. Mm. It's, it's a fact. There are <laughs> scammers and yeah. scammers some for some reason uh like to try and scam virtual assistants and i think because virtual assistants well there's a lot of new people coming into the industry a lot of people wanting to get that first client um and so they'll sort of take any client that they can get and i think the scammers know that and so virtual assistants are definitely a target so if you can just make sure that you have your eyes wide open when you're dealing with these um when with an inquiry um it's, it's tough because we shouldn't have to have that radar on, should we, Sam? Um, no, no. I mean, you know, in the ideal world, we should be able to trust everybody that lands in our, our inbox. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that's just not the way our world is right now. And this is something that, that I, in particular, am really, really passionate about. And if you've listened to one of our recent podcasts, it was um, Rants, wasn't it? Our Rant podcast. This is one of the things that we talked about. Because it really makes me upset that it is making people that are naturally trustworthy and open and want to help people into online stalkers that are just dist distrustful of any new query that comes through because we have to be on alert all the time for this. Mm. Yeah, so some of the things to look out for, um, and we have to look out for this too because there are mm -hmm. scammers who try and come into this Facebook group. Um, into the Savvy VA Facebook group and they will then post and most of the time if they say t um, earn a thousand dollars a week or earn four hundred dollars a week um, two, two short sentences earn earn whatever a week um, text me or whatsapp mm -hmm. me that is an absolute red flag there's no like hey i'm this business owner this is what we do i'm looking for a virtual assistant to do da, 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 da. if it's really really short and it's like text me and that could be a red flag not always um, because some people are just busy and just want you know if they're connected with you directly they would just want a quick reply um, and to be able to connect with you quickly but that is one thing to look out for um, the other thing is if you can see from their email address what their business is, because they have the domain, then go and research that domain. Have a look. Mm -hmm. so in New Zealand, we have the company's office. Um, so in each country, you'll be able to search up and see who is a director of what company. Does the name match? Are they on there? Um, and then you can do that bit of investigation to see if it's a legitimate business. Um, other things to look out for. I know that there's been scams, haven't there, Sam, where people have um, tried to say to virtual assistants, oh, hey, can you go buy me all of this, like, equipment um, or or things and can you then send it to me and I'll pay you back? Or, you know, like if, if a client is asking you to use your own money um, <laughs> or to, to – to put money somewhere from your account or pay for something on credit card, that is an absolute no-no. You should never be doing that for someone, especially at the start. Sometimes when you've built a great relationship with a client, like we do this with our clients, we've built the relationship, they might say, oh, can you like organize this, do this project, and we need to buy some supplies to be able to do that, then we'll do that and I'll charge them. But we know that client, they're a legitimate business. We've already established that they, you know, are legitimate. So this is this is in like one of the first tasks that they're asking you to do. That's an absolute red flag. Oh yeah, huge. I I would I would be running a mile off <laughs> if anyone <laughs> asked me to. You know, the, the first as you said, you haven't met this person, you haven't worked with them, they haven't paid you for any work up until that point. So the first request they're asking you to do is to spend your money on their behalf. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. Um, 
I'd also be looking at their, sometimes it's, it's as simple as looking at their email addresses, isn't it? Mm. If they don't have a legitimate business email address and you kind of, they've told you what their business is and you've done a Google search and then nothing is coming up at all. Um, to me, that's a red flag. It, it may be genuine. They may have only just started out, but I would then, I would still be on, uh, on alert at that point. Yeah. So I think if you get an inquiry, some of the questions that you can ask, are, you know, like, hey, tell me about your business. What are you looking for? Have you had a virtual assistant before? Um, and, and just get them to give you the detail of the job or the job description that they are looking for someone to take over. Um, and, and if they aren't willing to give you that information then that they're obviously not wanting to spend their time doing that they just want to try and scam you so you know yeah. if they're not willing to invest in that process with you then that can be a red flag yes and also if they're not willing to hop on a skype or a zoom chat um a facebook you know um what is it facetime thing mm -hmm. um why why don't they want why aren't they willing to show you th their face um there was one recently that i read about and this person said that they lived in new york um and but they couldn't i think they were deaf and blind so they wouldn't be able mm. to phone or the only way they'd be able to communicate was via email mm. now yes there are people out there that 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 have um you know a disability of some, a disability of some sort mm -hmm. but what are the chances that somebody is going to be deaf and blind um that's looking for a virtual assistant i think it's pretty pretty slim mm -hmm. pretty slim so yeah so yeah look at and i think looking looking for those signals and then trust your gut that i mean that, yeah. that's what it comes down to isn't it if it feels icky weird strange then it is um yeah yeah, our gut, our gut instincts are really, really on the ball. Mm. Mm. Okay. So it helps. Yes, but yeah, keep it on your radar um, and yeah, see how you go. And it's really good that you're being aware of it. I, I think I think that's that's the key. Just the just the fact that you are aware that there are people out there that that potentially are going to contact you with um, with the wrong intentions. Mm. Uh, I think you're doing the right thing for that alone. Yeah. All right. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we will see you next Friday for another Alive Friday. And please keep those questions coming. We absolutely love seeing those um, coming through in the group. And we love that everyone is supporting each other. Um, and that's what this group is all about. Yay. Bye, guys. <laughs>